to make a splash! <laughs> Not this year. You lot are banned from the pool. Why? I know what you did last summer. Get in! You have to admit, Sergeant, it was a trifle funny. <laughs> oh, go jump in the lake. <laughs> ah. <laughs> away! <laughs> Dennis, <laughs> you're banned from the lake, remember? Why? <laughs> and now your pesky pet thinks I'm lunch! <sighs> Fine. I know the perfect place to keep cool. OK, this is not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, at least it's got bubble jets. Uh, I don't think it does, Pipes. <laughs> <laughs> the bones! The bones, my dolls! <laughs> Live from my back patio, welcome to this summer's preeminent sporting spectacular, the Walter Games! <laughs> Starring the indomitable champion, me, and the stadium goes wild! Round one, diving for dictionaries. Wow! It's a paradise! Oh, like the one I got in my ear at school camp. That was a parasite, Pyphis. Oh, yeah. Dennis, do you think we should ask Walter if he'd let us go in his... <laughs> 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 Even think about it, Dennis. Pool rules. No more than three kids and one pet in the pool at a time. <laughs> and definitely no menaces. <laughs> right. We want to swim and we'll get a swim. New mission menaces. Operation Extract Walter from the pool. Walter Games round two. Synchronised Shakespeare. Shall I compare them to, to the summer's day? Hook, line and sausage. Round three. Backstroke to Bach. <laughs> Morning, all holidaymakers. News just in. Summer is ending early. What? Hey. <laughs> Followed by gale force blizzard. <laughs> Weatherman sounds horridly familiar. Mm. <laughs> oh, busty Dennis! <laughs> Menaces, this leaves us with one final option. He put lobsters in your swimming pool? Exactly! Lobsters in my swimming pool! Right, Dennis. I'm not letting you ruin another summer. Three strikes and you're out. It'll be summer school for you. Summer? School? Those two words don't even belong in the same sentence. <laughs> and these lobsters are strike one. Oh, come on, Sergeant. Don't you know the meaning of the word fun? No. And don't even think about breaking in again, Dennis. Say hello to Pool Boy 2.0. Good morning, Walter. It certainly is a nice day for a swim. Morning, boys. Nice day for a swim in Walter's pool. <laughs> There's no way you'll get in. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. Begs for a good cause, you say. Well, one box of cookies won't break the bank. <laughs> what flavour? Butter wouldn't melt in my mouth, flavour. Oh. oh, there are so many cookies to sell. And it's so hot. Oh, you oh. poor thing. Would you like...
like a swim in our pool. Oh, yes, you're kind. Huh? <laughs> Intruder alert. No more than three children and one pet in pool at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Nice try, Angel Face. Let that be a warning. You're all forbidden to set a single foot in my back garden, or else. Hmm. We won't need to set a foot in his garden because we're going to build a water slide. We'll slide from the top of the treehouse, whiz through Curly's corkscrew, past Pie Face's peril, up and around Nash's nemesis, and down Dennis's doom drop. Then out the spout, leaping the alley, flying over the laser beam, and. To Walter's pool! Hi! Thank you! Oh, it's great, Dennis. Uh, one question. How do we squeeze into that tiny slide? We're gonna build it big, Pie Face! Instant access to the pool, and all without setting a single foot in Walter's garden. <laughs> right! We'll need to distract Walter while we hammer and bang, which is why we'll need you. For an all-summer pass to your slide, it would be my pleasure. I'm sorry, you're who? Franz Trudepatzi, recruiting officer for the Swiss-German Volta Games team. Wait a minute. Are you saying we have a chance to compete professionally? Oh, yeah. Training drill begins now. Drop and give me 20. Hence is my dry fear. Step one, borrow a few spare pipes. Hey, that's strike two, Dennis. Stop messing about. Summer is not meant for fun. Oh, honestly, Sergeant, weren't you ever a kid? No. It was a game. Step two, borrow some water. Oi, what are you boys doing here? Um, playing catch. <laughs> here, catch! No, 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 you felonious fraudster! Oh, stop it! You make me blush. Now listen, I've got some valuable intel on Dennis. Step three, build the slide. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> Menaces, let's ride. Be brave, Paul. <laughs> Someone's tampered with the trajectory. Hmm, cookie crumbs. I taste a traitor. Oh, hi, Dennis. Hi. Walter's kindly given me an all-summer pass to his pool. Isn't that sweet? Ah, oh, too bad there's no room for you. Don't get too cosy, clever clogs. We'll fix the slide and then we're splashing in. Dream on, Dennis. Afternoon, Sergeant Slipper. Illegal construction of a constructed structure without structural permits? Let's strike three, Dennis. Pack your bags. You're off to summer school. You should have thought twice before building a giant water slide. Would you, uh, like a ride, Sergeant? Oh, 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 no, no, don't be silly, Dennis. I'm a grown man. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Ice cream! <laughs> Intruder alert. No more than three children and one pet in pool at a time. Oh, dear. One way into the pool, Walter. What do you say? An awesome pass to our slide for an awesome pass to your pool. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the best summer ever. Nash, 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 Nash,
Nash! Aww. Keep your fleas on, Nasher. <laughs> It'll be home time before you know it. Nash, Nash. OK, boys, this lesson's about to get menaced. Uh, hurry up, then! It's about to blow! Uh. Cool your eyes, Paul. All of them. So, class, you should now have a beaker of green liquid. Green liquid? What? Green liquid? Uh. Green, not brown, Dennis. <laughs> when Mrs. Creature sees my perfect results, I'll get my fifth gold star this week. You have. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. <laughs> Today. <laughs> Not so fast. Thanks to your little experiment, the whole school has to be fumigated. You will look after Polygon until tomorrow morning. Oh, but Miss... Take good care of Polygon or you'll be cleaning his cage forever. <laughs> Polly! Gone! I've just had a five-star idea. <laughs> Oh, this pirate really rates his pie. <laughs> Do you get it? Pirate? No? Got her bombs ready, Captain. Time to shiver dance timbers. <laughs> Rain? Monsoon? Dennis! <laughs> Captain's parrot, water bombs, or should I say, Walter bombs, away! <laughs> water bombs away! <laughs> First mate, Nasha. Tea time, boys! Oh, great! I'm starving! What? First mate, Nasha. Look after our new friend. Nash! Gone. Just hear him. How's your parrot impressions? 
What's he done now? Testing Menace Voice Projector. Testing Menace Voice Projector. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one, Dennis! Time to squat the squat, Curly. No, no, I, no, I should do it. I'm much more of a bird brain than you. Mrs. Creature's come to check on Polygon, Dennis. I've just covered up the cage to give his eyes a rest. He's fine. He'll tell you himself. Won't you? Oh. I said, won't you? I'm fine. Squawk! I'm fine. Squawk! Dennis is the best! See? Nothing to worry about. Yeah, I, I like Ty said, too, Squawk. Get Sorry about that. I mean, Squawk! I've taught him some impressions. <laughs> Well, I am impressed, Dennis. Can I take a little peek at him? <laughs> On second thoughts, I'll just make sure he's back in school tomorrow morning. <laughs> he's a pie. Nice, 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 nice. Wait, these aren't parrot feathers. They're pillow feathers. Maybe Polygon had a pyjama party that got out of control. Yeah, or he got out. But how? Sorry, Nasha. Sorry. Nash, Nash. Team Menace, we got to find that parrot right now. Where would a parrot hang out? Guaranteed to attract our feathered friends. Oh, and if he doesn't fancy it. Well done, Pie Face, it's working. Uh, I bet too well. <laughs> What's wrong, Dennis? In a flap about something? <laughs> If I don't find Polygon before tomorrow, Mrs. Creature's going to be a screecher. Dennis, I got a brilliant plan. Really? All is going to be okay. Who's a pretty potato then? I'm a dead man. Huh? Huh? Right. Let's have a look at him. Yes, Dennis. I can't wait to see what you've got under there. There he is. <gasps> Good old Paul. They gone. That's a potato, Dennis. Yo, oh, she's good. Where is Polygon? <laughs> 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 He's right here, miss. Oh, what? What? Oh, my word. You've taught Polygon to be a homing parrot. Excellent work, Dennis. What? Don't thank him. It was me that let him out. Um, uh, uh, uh that is, uh, I mean, um, uh, oh, no. Ah, Walter did it. What? Walter did it. Walter, I am taking back all your stars. <gasps> oh, no, 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 not my stars. And you, Dennis, can take care of Polygon anytime. How about tonight? <laughs> ah, hey, Nasha, I reckon Walter would love something refreshing. Nasha! Nice, nice. Polygon? Now 
is not the pace of a postman preparing to pull. <laughs> I must draw your attention to Postal Delivery Service Article 49B, Subsection 12, which expressly states... <laughs> 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 to Magnet Monthly. What's Magnet Monthly? <sighs> the only periodical exclusively about the hows and whys of magnetism, obviously. It's fascinating. Right. There's even less of Efficient Pockets Weekly, Fractions Quarterly, Ant Admirer and Collectible Placemats. Wow. Walter, I... I'm horrified. You shouldn't be inside reading boring magazines. You should be getting out and doing fun stuff. Nash is doing you a favour. A favour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's got you out of the house. You're getting fresh air, exercise, and Nash is getting exercise too. <laughs> and now his collection is just one sample short. Oh, what collection? <gasps> Within 24 hours, the world record for the largest collection of samples from post office issue underpants, held since 1908 by an unusually fast and snappy dash -un, will be claimed by one Nasha Menace! Nasha! Hmm. Well, as you've clearly no intention of curbing your pooch's postal impropriety, I'll have to take postal matters into my own hands. Eh? You're gonna be a postman? Nash, Nash. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Nasha. <laughs> Walters doesn't count. But come tomorrow's post, you'll be the new title holder. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> ah, don't want to miss the big moment, eh, Walter? Oh, absolutely not. Today is the debut of the future of post delivery. Say hello to the Postatron. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Postman? It's a prototype. All the traits of a human postal worker combined with robot efficiency. I first read about it in Stamps and Envelopes News. I told the post office I knew just the place to test it out. Splendid. Porridge enthusiast. I've been looking forward to you, my friend. Post? We've not had post for months. Poor oh, Nasha. He's devastated. How can he bag the record for postal underpants samples when our robot postman doesn't wear pants? Could we put pants on it? It doesn't have legs. Could we put legs on it? Uh, well, no! We've got to get rid of the robot postman. We've got to get a real postman back so Nasha can claim that record. <laughs> and this is how we're going to do it. <laughs> Me and Nasha will drive it, and when Nasha barks into the microphone inside, it'll sound like a hundred dogs. <laughs> At the sound of a hundred Nashers, any postman would like it. And as the Postatron is programmed to behave just like a postman... <laughs> a robot dog? Obviously. It's the only way to scare off a robot postman. We don't want you scaring off the robot postman. I like getting post. Here's a postcard from Gran. She's stranded in the Congo and needs us to send cash. Six months ago. Oh, that's why we haven't heard from her. And the Postatron has also finally delivered all your school reports. <laughs> You're grounded. You can help us sort through all this post. Here's a power bill. Final demand. Huh? <laughs> right, you're doubly grounded, you and Nasha. But first, find some candles. But, but what about Nasha's record? <laughs> Good luck, Pie Face. Thanks, Dennis. Dennis, inside now. You're grounded. And sorting post. Oh, you're our eyes, Curly. Keep us updated. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Is that the dog catcher? Hmm. I need you to bring your largest net. Hey, face! No! Sabo? Be no damn mini 
cherries. Oh, oh that tickles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're coming with me. Uh, Dennis, we have a problem. <sighs> I have to go rescue Pie Face. He's been taken by the dog catcher. <sighs> Why does that sentence not surprise me? Dennis, you're not going anywhere till you finish sorting all that post. Ah, finished! What sort of sorting is that? It's all been sorted into a needs-to-be-sorted pile. See ya! Wait! Wait! <laughs> Another wild dog! Hey, aren't you our old postman? Your new dog catcher now! I'm chasing dogs! Oh, oh, sweet revenge! Still, you must be miffed of robots doing your old job. That's the point. It's doing the job. Unlike me, it's fulfilling the postman's motto. Through rain or hail or snow, the post must get through. So, if the robot postman can't get through, they'll have to re-employ a proper postman. With pants! Yes, yes. Can I get out, please? Anyone? Surely the Postatron's prepared for rain, hail and snow, Dennis. Ah, it won't be expecting the menace variety, though. <laughs> Ready, menaces? Yes, sir. Ready. There's a magazine called Magnet Monthly. I know. Free magnet with every issue. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Is that Magnet Monthly? Not one issue of my subscription has arrived all year. So, can you send them again? All at once? Brilliant. My name? It's Walter. <laughs> I suppose you menaces hope once again to disrupt the march of technology. No, you win, Walter. We've tried and we can't stop the Postatron. Ha! I knew you wouldn't be able to get the better of its superior robot brain. And Nasha felt so bad about ruining your magazines, so we're making up for it. A whole year's worth of Magnet Monthly, complete with free magnets, is arriving today. You don't expect me to believe that, do you? It's true. I give you a postal marvel with news of the marvel of magnetism in bulk. <laughs> You're right, Walter. Magnetism is marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> your old job back? Yes. Apparently, the Postatron had a few glitches to iron out. Well, something like that. Still, at least Nash is not around today, so I can deliver the mail in peace. <laughs> He's behind me, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hello, woofing dog. Congratulations. A new record. Do you have any idea what this will do for Beano Town? No. Neither do I. So, what's next for our champion then? <laughs> Apparently, he has his eye on the record for samples from Mare's underpants. Oh, well. <laughs> I can't wait to get to school and hand in my homework. It's not a 
Homework. Bravo! Wonderful! Wonderful! Oh, don't clap. Dennis is clearly lying. Yes, but with such verve and imagination. Class, this is Mr. Blake Midwinter. He's an actor from the television. Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, little boy. You may have seen my acclaimed performance as a man in park in that crisps commercial. <clears throat> Nay, Squirrel, these are not for you to nibble on. End of scene. Mr. Midwinter is going to help us with this year's school play. That's right. Thank you, Mrs. C. I'll take it from here. We're doing Jack and the Beanstalk. And I do believe we've already found our Jack. <gasps> um. Surely the lead role should go to someone artistic? Exactly! And Dennis here clearly has a wild flair for dramatic improvisation. I have what now? He says you have wild hair for drastic improvement. Hey! I'm not brushing my hair for anyone! Sorry, Mr Midwinter, but I'm out. Oh, sadness. No! Your words strike like arrows at my heart. <sighs> Oh well, the show must go on. Auditions are tomorrow lunchtime. But I must warn you, the rehearsals will be very demanding and mean missing a lot of lessons. Miss lessons? Wait, I'm in again! Huzzah! A star is born. Like you said, the show must go on. <laughs> There are still plenty of parts to audition for, and Headmaster Detesta has very kindly insisted on helping me choose the rest of the cast. Next, we have Angel Face Detesta reading for the princess. Oh no! Here comes the giant! Jack, look out! Bravo! Oh, beautiful! Such poise! Such grace! A perfect princess! I don't believe we need to see anyone else for the role. Thanks, Dad. OK, everybody, let's rehearse. Curly and Pie Face are the giant. Angel Face is the princess. Walter is the bean seller. And Dennis is our fearless Jack. Please, no autographs. <laughs> Now, in this extremely moving scene, Jack is with one of the most important characters in the play. The bean seller! No, no. I mean Jack's cow. But who should play the cow? Who should play the cow? Come on, come on. You both look marvelous in that costume. This isn't even a cow. It's a horse. Yes, but the magic of theater will make the audience believe it's a cow. I'm not doing it. Oh, oh there's a funny smell in there. Ah, oh, yes, that may be me. It's uh, Cabbage Thursday in the canteen, you see. I've got a much better idea than that moldy old costume. Presenting Jack's cow. Oh. A dog can't play a cow. It's genius. Oh yes, it's even better than a horse. It's playful yet surprising. It's very, it's very now. I love it. Okay, let's get the bean seller scene out of the way, and then we can move on to the big romantic finale where Jack kisses. The princess. Right, I'll just... <laughs> Hang on. That sounded like you said something about kissing. Oh, dear, Dennis. Uh, haven't you read the script? Page 30, Jack gives the princess a big kiss. In front of the whole school. Kiss a girl? <laughs> Angel face, you don't want to kiss me. I haven't had a bath in a week. Of course I didn't want to kiss you, but the Beano Town Gazette are sending a photographer, and if kissing you gets my picture on the front page, then 
I'll do it. And scrub my mouth afterwards. Ha ha! Everyone will see Dennis the Menace smooching the headmaster's daughter. <laughs> um, Mr Midwinter, I I'm having second thoughts about the play. And third thoughts, too. And they're both... Ah! Well, of course I can't force you to do the play, Dennis. Oh, I knew you'd understand. But if you do drop out, I'll make sure you get double all the lessons you've missed. So, what do we say? The show must go on. Dennis, what are you going to do? If you oh, kiss a girl in front of everyone, you'll never live it down. I know, but Mr Midwinter won't let me give up the play. <sighs> ah, but it wouldn't be my fault if he kicked me out, would it? Morning, everyone. Places, please. From the top of Act Two, a Jack climbs the beanstalk and sees the giant. Look. The beans have grown into a huge beanstalk. I told you they were magic. Thank you, kind bean seller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and don't forget to feed my cow. He must be hungry. Three, five, four, four. I smell the blood of. <gasps> Stop! Sorry, Mr. Midwinter, but I totally understand if you don't want me in the play anymore, so I'll just get going. What are you talking about? That was brilliant! So raw, so spontaneous, so, so in the moment! You know, you remind me of a young me! <gasps> okay, now let's try the kissing scene. <laughs> what? <laughs> of course! Thanks, Nasha! Okay! Hook her up, Angel Face! <laughs> oh, sorry! Uh, just coming down with a bit of a cold! <laughs> oh, keep your jabs to yourself! I need to look my best for the paparazzi. Oh, no. Well, we don't want anyone getting sick before opening night. Maybe we should skip the kissing scene for now. <laughs> Good old face snot. That should keep me kiss free till this is all over. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Jack and the Beanstalk. Adapted, choreographed, designed, and directed by uh, your humble servant, Blake Midwinter. Yo, look. It's Man in Park from that crisp commercial. <laughs> Make sure you get a good shot of the most talented actress, my daughter. Jack, a humble farmer boy, taking my cow to market. Nash, no. I'll buy your cow for these magic beans. <laughs> I think I've had too many beans already. <laughs> <laughs> right, just the kissing scene to go. Time for the fake snot. <laughs> oh, um, we're looking for this. <laughs> now you'll have to kiss Angel Face. <laughs> oh, only one thing for it. You mean? Yes, Curly. Operation Blackout. <gasps> no, not Operation Blackout. What is Operation Blackout? Well, Operation Blackout. Hurry oh, up, Dennis. Come on, Pyface. <laughs> Time for our big scene and for me to get my picture in the paper. Mm -hmm. You defeated the giant and won the heart of a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Curly. Don't let me down. I escaped the kiss of shame. Angel Face got her picture in the paper. And we got out of lessons. I'd say the play was a big hit. <laughs> Just not the kind Mr Midwinter wanted. Ah, hey, hey. Oh, fool. Ah, this is ah, ah, oh, I bet he wishes the show hadn't gone on after all. That's showbiz. No, that's menace biz. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
he won't know what hit them. Oh, I reckon they will. He's got his face on it. Shh, it's starting. Tomorrow, Beano Town elects its next mayor. To show why I deserve your vote, I've got you all a present. A new waxwork of the most handsome, hard-working and, above all, humble man in Beano Town. Me! <laughs> this represents my new approach to menacing. Vote for me and I'll make Beano Town a prank-free zone. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Now, Nasher! <laughs> For as long as I'm mayor, all skateboards are banned. Vote, Vote for Scrimp! Vote, Vote for Scrimp! <laughs> huh? He can't do that. He can't do that. Can he do that? He might think he can, but we won't let him get away with it. Um, Dennis, he has gotten away with it. Skateboards are banned as long as he's mayor. Yeah, but how long's that? We just have to make sure that he loses the vote tomorrow. And I know how. Hmm. Lunchtime. Ha-ha. <laughs> huh? Right. Time to make that waxwork work for us. Nasha, it's snack time. Yes. <laughs> Mmm, looks delicious. <laughs> oh, you can't move in this town for menaces. Hey, come back with my lunch. Yeah. Sure you're up for this, Payface? Oh, yeah. I'm world champion at standing still and doing nothing. Hi, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? Mess Crimp's orders to protect this priceless work of art from any more menacing pranks. Well, he needn't worry. Nothing gets past old Slipper. Uh, uh. <laughs> Time to show the town my new approach to menacing. Careful <laughs> now, Mrs. McGinty. Let me help you across the road. Ah, ah, my toe! I don't believe it! Did you see who that was? I know. <laughs> Father Christmas at this time of year. What? Oh, no, it was Mayor Scrimp! <laughs> Under the sheet, lads. Uh, pie face, disguised as a ghost. <laughs> Very funny. You just keep away from this waxwork. I have to make sure this vote runs smoothly. <laughs> nice one, pie face. You can stop doing the pause now. No, I can't. Sounds like scripts are gonna. Come on, we don't want to miss this. Right, all of you, take it easy. Back up, back up. What? What are you all on about? I haven't done anything. A likely story. We all saw you. We didn't think a new approach to menacing meant you would be doing the menacing. You're not fit to be mayor. So, none of us will be voting for you. Yes! Now to get our skateboards back. Which leaves us one tiny question. Who is going to be the new mayor? Surely you're the obvious choice, Father. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly... N oh, very well. As you all insist, I accept. <laughs> all those in favour? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Vote carried. May I present to you the new mayor of Beano Town. Oh! 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 My first act as mayor is to end Scrimp's ban on skateboards. 
Oh, maybe he's not so bad after all. And replace it with a ban on skateboards, bicycles, catapults, water pistols, water bombs, hand buzzers, and anything else that may be used by a menace. Oh, oh, no. oh. I'm in heaven. Yeah, he's not so bad. He's worse! <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Assistant uh, Junior Apprentice Parky Scream. Sorry, sir. <laughs> All our gear gone. Scream doesn't seem so bad now. Let's scrimp stick to picking litter. It takes a man like my dad to deal with rubbish like you. Oh, you're nothing without your pranking equipment. Oh, yeah? A real menace can make a prank out of anything. Aha. Uh -huh. Slow <laughs> down, Dennis. That does it. Little pickers are banned. Uh, re really? Are you sure? Absolutely. Anything that can be used for menacing gets banned. Uh, okay. You heard the man. Hand him over. Yeah, right. Anything, eh? <laughs> Time for Plan D&G. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely mints for you, Mrs. McGinty. Now, where are my paper bags? Again with the Mrs. McGinty. <laughs> well, what happened? Did my black pudding explode again? <laughs> I saw that. Paper bags are now banned. <laughs> we'll just find something else to use. Still a stinky smell. Don't worry, miss. We'll shift it. Ain't it hot? Well, there's only one sensible response to that, and that's to ban hair dryers. Oh! Da 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 da! <laughs> My favourite colour. <laughs> 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 1730 hours. Time for your daily watering. What the? Go. Right. From now on, watering cans are banned, and so is paint. Hang on just a second. How's a chap to keep his garden spruce if he can't water it? Look, I realise these bans are causing a few problems. A few? Without paper bags, no one's buying any meat. Look at the state of my hair. I can't fix it without a hairdryer. Just give me a little more time. I I've almost beaten those menaces. Oh, yeah? Wanna bet? Right, gang, this is the big one. Dirty socks? Check. Line of underpants? Check. Ultimate weapon? Let's see Walter's dad try and ban this one. Time for Operation Underpants. Charge! Stand firm. We can take anything they throw at us. Let me go. Except sticky socks. Socks are banned. Everybody calm down. There's no need to... Uh, I can't see. Tactical withdrawal. Follow me. Stop it! You're causing chaos! No, you're causing chaos. We were just standing here. Time for the pants de resistance. One of baby bees use nappies. <laughs> that does it! As of now, all forms of underwear are banned! What? Don't be ridiculous. We were better off with scrimp. Sergeant Slipper, do something. Yeah, I intend to. I suggest yesterday's vote be overruled and scrimp gets his old job back. All in favor? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but nobody's confiscating my underpants. Oh. I hereby ban all bans! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, including the one on skateboards. Hmm. Oh, all right. But don't think I'm going soft. Let me remind you the sort of man you're dealing with. Uh, uh, no, sir. Please, hang on. <laughs> yes. Yep, it's exactly like you. When there's menaces about, it loses its head. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nice, 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 nice.
Nash, 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 Nash. Citizens of Earth, having braved the chill depths of space, meteor showers, asteroids, canine astromut cutter likes nothing more than a bowl of lumpy chunks. is in the can. I was hoping you'd visit my humble shop. It's truly an honor, sir. Eh? Please accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Nash? Not just this bone, no, sir. A hero like you can have anything in the shop. <gasps> and in your honor. My sausages I give to you, my chops to fill your face, my fillets fill your rumbling tum. Brave dog who's been to space. Oh, no, Asher, not you. Him. Please, sir, accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Look out! Huh? The moon's coming! <laughs> School's out, Nasha! Time for a kickabout! Nash, Nash, Nash! Nash! It's a freebie! Everyone got one to celebrate Cutter's visit! <laughs> In honor of his amazing travels, Astroma Cutter will receive the Beano Town Collar of Honor later this afternoon. <laughs> 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 Cutter is the greatest dog in the universe because he's been up in space. <laughs> Second best, maybe. He's nothing compared to you, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha? <laughs> Nasha! Awarding myself a medal. Ah. Hey, your laces are undone. Huh? Hmm. All the planets are aligned. Well, the moons at least. Go, Nasha! <laughs> huh? I've exposed my flank and I haven't been attacked. Something's definitely not right here. We've got an emergency. Look! <laughs> 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 Nasha's lost his menacing mojo. Oh, I'd hate to think of Paul lying around not up to his usual tricks. Oh. Uh, uh, we've got to find something to kickstart Nasha's menace hard drive. But what, Dennis? I mean, that's a pretty big hard drive. But it'll have to be something out of this world. <gasps> Curly, you are a genius. <laughs> D-I-Y-S-O-S A-S-A-P. Okay. M-L-W-T-P-Q. What? I thought we'd just say random letters. Are we not? 
Ah. Look, a text message from the space agency Ganassa Nasha for you. Huh? It's an emergency situation. They need your help, Nasha. This is space, and this is a spaceship piloted by Cutter. You know he went to the moon, right? Nash, Nash. His mission was to bring back moon rocks, space dust, and uh, stuff like that. But Cutter left something behind. That's right. He left a half-eaten sausage in a moon crater. Huh? It was grabbed by the blurps. An alien race. Who can't believe we Earthlings throw away such treats as sausages? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The blurps are eyeing the Earth's vast sausage reserves. They're about to invade. There's only one dog brave enough and skillful enough to save the world's sausages. Nasha, you have to stop the blurps invading. I give you the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> Planet Earth depends on you. Ready for takeoff in five, four, three, two, one. NASA! Thrusters, Nasha. Spaceship <laughs> landed safely in the crater on planet Blurb. <laughs> the safety of the world is now down to you, Nasha. <laughs> Greetings. <sighs> I am Captain Blooper Luba of the Starship. Destroy the Earth, the deadliest warship in the Blurp Laser Cannon Attack Fleet. <laughs> we want your bangers, salami, chorizo, and hot dogs. Also, chipolatas, which are nice. <laughs> Hand them over now, or face immediate sausage extermination. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <gasps> 